Welcome, Spark. So what kind of Spark are you? A player? A creator? Or both? The stories yet to be told. The games to be made. Civilizations and societies to be formed. The universe is waiting for you to bring it to life. Now, how do we begin? Okay, there we go. Whew. It's been slow to switch back over to the camera. After I click it, it takes like 10 seconds for some reason. So, hey guys, welcome to another Let's Play Friday stream. And I'm Thomas, as you guys know, and I have a special guest joining me today, which is pretty Very cool. Special. Very special. <laughs> the most special we've ever had. Oh, sure. So... No, you know, more special than Ken Law, who we've had, more special Never than, yeah, Jay Frechette from Halo, yeah. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, this is uh, uh, Bob Schmacky, a.k.a. Roger Roach. Um, so he works with us here at Microsoft, uh, but he's not on the Spark team, but he's a big um, person in the Spark community. He's been around a really long time. I think you've been in Alpha, right? You were yeah, in Alpha? I was in, ever since Alpha. I had to beg to get a spot. There was a special slot for some Microsoft employees that I managed to find Beg them to give yeah, like it to me. Yeah, <laughs> give it to me, please. I need to get into this. Well, that's pretty awesome. That's cool. I didn't. I wasn't unfortunately in Alpha. I was jealous of all the people who were though. It was pretty hard to get in. Yeah, I, I met. Yeah, I imagine it was. Was it even? Did Alpha start prior to the announcement at E3? So, like, did you guys actually know about the game before I didn't. that? I okay. Didn't know before okay. Maybe, okay. but not that I knew. Okay, so you came in after. Yeah, I saw see, I'm three freaked up, and then saw something about intern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen some stuff like you know I get to see some of the the old forums that were like meant for alpha and back in the day like that, and I think some of it was started even earlier than the uh, the June announcement, which is pretty funny because Spark had a different name at that time. I don't know if you knew that. No, or, I didn't know yeah, that. but the, <laughs> the name changed like three weeks before, so oh, nice. that's a. I'll, I'll leave that like little. Clue. I won't say what the name is because it was pretty bad. But <laughs> so, what are we doing today? Well, we're playing Project Spark Creations, uh, which is going to be pretty awesome. We're playing your guys' creations. So, uh, we have a couple lists. We're going to look at some of the new things in the featured feed from this week, and then you know, if you guys have suggestions of stuff to play, we can try to sneak some of those in. Um, but it'll be a good old time. So, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so, first thing uh, I think we're going to try out is Spark Tennis by Rodrigo Bezzi. I think that's going to be fun. So I have not seen a tennis game yet in Spark, and this is pretty great. They do a good job. You haven't played this yet, right? No, I have not played this. All right, well, we're going to judge you very harshly. So he has a leaderboards, which is really neat. So if you win, it's a, you have to play three games, and it's first to three. Right. Uh, so, yeah. Wow, so let's he even has go. all the seats around. Yeah, it, it wow. gets, it's even more, it has, it's more this exciting. It's pretty yeah, impressive, actually. Yeah. You can choose your oh, court type. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's, so you uh, want to go... Let's go with clay. That's the slowest one, right? I think so. Oh, so clay is highest bounce, but it slows <laughs> the ball down, I think. I like the how he has a different back like character yeah. sets, too. So you got a human squirrel. Now, what's the difference between these? I want to see statistics. I had best luck with human, because he was yeah. taller, but... Ah. So controls here, so you got to do right trigger to hit the ball toward the left, and left oh, trigger okay. to hit the ball to the right, because it's kind of like backhand and left hand, right. I guess. Keep an upright posture. Release the left stick. For, oh, yeah. okay. so you So Great. you move with left stick, but you're if you are holding left stick while you're trying to hit the ball, like so you're still running up to it to yeah. try to get it, it will impact your accuracy. Yeah. And now it's, filled with, it's filled with plushy squirrels <laughs> That's awesome. as audience members. So I, I, they did a great job of making it feel like cinematic and... Oh yeah, they, for sure. <laughs> there you go. Ah. Oh, he totally got you. The, a, the AI is so hard. <laughs> wow, I'm really bad at this. I'm, I'm not even sure I'm pressing He has right. like a skull bracket, oh. which is pretty... Oh, you got, you got a hit on it, but that's okay, you hit out. Ah. Okay. So I can't hit to the. I would if you're on the if you're on the okay, other so side I, of the court. I, I don't want to try and be too fancy with this. I, I yeah. want to try and. Ah. That was a good rally. Oh, oh, oh! Man. Look at I that. I think it allowed it to double bounce though, which is uh, a little bit suspicious, but that's okay. Did it let bounce? Double bounce? I don't think so. I think you got it in time. Ace. Oh yeah. Look at that. You're destroying. You're putting work on the goblin. Oh man. Out, out. So is there really any penalty for? I don't think I think you can just hit go ah, as hard as you want and hold well. it. Clearly my serve sucked. 
He came up and got it. Qu oh, he served that out. Nice, you won that game. It's because I'm a boss. <laughs> like a boss. Ah! Cool. And uh, just for those in chat, um, since we just haven't heard from anybody yet, let us know if uh, audio and you know visual is good. Um, you guys are seeing everything clearly. You can hear us okay, the game okay. Uh, let us know if we need to make any adjustments there. Um, but yeah, and then still, if you got any suggestions for stuff to play, let us know. Ooh, Goblin is destroying you this game. A, Goblin is doing all right. Oh, but you got him that one. Nice. You're doing much better than me. I didn't even win a game, which is pretty bad. I love how they, so they like jump up and down in the, oh, yeah, the stands. Yeah, actually, I actually hadn't noticed that. <gasps> oh, he, he uh, volleyed it back at you. It's pretty awesome. Goblin, whoa. Oh. Where was I? <laughs> <laughs> Not paying attention, apparently. Uh, oh. Uh, take that. I mean, he does like a, like it's, I mean, he like does a really good job of like redirecting the ball back and... I mean, like, you can see when it, like, does the change. Like, it's not perfect. Like, it's not super fluid. No, that was out, right? Yeah, that was out. Uh, but I think Goblin just got that point. Oh, no. It, no, it was in. Sorry. That was definitely in. And line is considered in if it hits the line, too. Okay. It looked like it wasn't even on the line to me, but... Yeah. It's the opposite of, like, how football. Like, football, yeah. if you're on the line, you're, like, out of, out of you know, out of the zone or whatever. But... Vantage Dakota. <clears throat> yep. Do you play much tennis in like real life? You, uh, you know, I I played a decent amount of tennis when I was younger. Nice. But I'm the same. I played a lot of tennis growing up, but I haven't played very much now. We should get try to get back into it. Get our oh. forehand and backhand. I, you know, I love playing tennis, but my I, I figured I was trying to get my wife to play with me, but she does not believe in running. I did the same thing. Well, like we I we just haven't like there whoa. are two balls. There are two balls. <laughs> That's funny. That's like crazy. What probably happens is. What? You won and you got an achievement, look. Grand Slam winner. You're so good. You are so good. What can I say? And then he has like this little skills. outro here. So it's funny because the ball comes back up to get ready to serve, but then you like go out the door or whatever. That was That was really good. well done though. I mean, that, that was must awesome. Have been super hard to get all this set up. That's yeah. Rodrigo Bezzi makes some really cool stuff though. I've seen several He's so pro are... prolific. He's actually one of the most featured creators of 2015. Yeah. He might even be the most featured. Uh, I, I can believe it. He is on top of it, that's for sure. And he's from Brazil. Oh, very you cool. know that? It's pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. So let's take a look at something else. And I'm going to force you to play this one. Actually, okay. Well, let me uh, <laughs> let me look at my list here. Okay, so let's take a break. Right. I'll uh, take the controller so you don't have to play everything. Um, let us do, let's, let's watch something. So let's take a look at Peasant Protectors. Uh, so this is just a, it's a trailer for an upcoming game, I'm pretty sure. It is pretty done really well. Uh, yeah, so you can see that it's a promotion video for the full game that's coming soon. So let's play it and enjoy. Yeah. Anticipation. <laughs> I don't think there's any VO, but there is definitely music mm -hmm. part of it, and then like all the connect. As it land, fantasy VO. Seems like a great place. Very happy and colorful. <laughs> That's right, because then it shows the like training ground. Red, red scarves are fashionable. <laughs> that looks like a headmaster. He has a really big red scarf. That's how you know he's a headmaster. 
I'm assuming this is who you play as. Yeah, it feels like a beer than you were. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I know that that's, that's <laughs> the power up is like great. And then everybody else is like a main character. I'm gonna try to do that. I love like the eyebrow twitch. You do it. Yeah, like, the eyebrow twitch is awesome. <laughs> like usually it's like. You know, it doesn't look that great, but some, like in this, it like just adds to it. Attitude. Yeah. Dog. <laughs> Ninja. <laughs> and like the character, yeah, and the character swap right there with like the effect is oh, really yeah. nice. Yeah. My <laughs> manly knight. <laughs> I like that he like trips. Different like camera angle for each one yeah. of you. Just but there's like this, yeah. There's <laughs> I just like you have to think somebody like stood in front of their connect and was like, I love well, it. it's interesting. So the the um, the camera angles are repeated, but they're really well chosen. But I think mm -hmm. you can actually reuse them very successfully across all of those. Like, the movies. It didn't feel like repetitive. It didn't, but yeah. I, I think it could be reused very well. Mm -hmm. See, I think yeah, I think it must be the play of over viewer for character. This is power up. Yeah, that's the power up. I, I will be looking forward to that. that yeah, that looks that's pretty cool. cool. I don't know if it's a game jam or not. Maybe. Yeah. And when is the deadline for the game jam? It is December 22nd, so getting up there pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, you got less than two weeks left. We're, we're expecting greatness because stuff's coming in already and it's really cool. And, I mean, there's like a team There's like a team of like eight people. Oh, yeah? Yeah, which is just like crazy. It's a lot of people to be working on it. And sometimes it could be a detriment, right? If you have too many people. So it depends. Like, it has to be like really well organized. But, I mean, that's our max size is eight. And I think there's a, there's definitely a team out there taking advantage of it, have which is really cool. Uh, releasing anything early? or I, They've done some live streams of oh. some of their stuff. Yeah, it's... Uh, um, like Detran, Rust Plague, uh, Doobie Snacks, like mm -hmm. they're all working together, and but there's like eight people apparently. I don't know everybody else who's on the team. I don't think they've announced everybody. There's probably some secret collaborators too. <laughs> all right, so what are we looking at next after watching that ridiculously cool Peasant Protectors? Uh, let us take a look. Let me play something. So let's do, and then I'll hand the controller back to you. Sure. So I'll do this one, Silent Void, and you. Uh, in yeah. Ingenuity, yeah, if I could speak. I love the picture. I just want to point that out. The, the ship? Yep. Yeah, it's really cool. It grabs your attention, like, from the, the feed, I think. Oh, I mean, a, bu a bunch of our, you know, our featured ones usually do a really good job of doing a good screenshot, but they're re that's really powerful. Do a power presentation. You can't never overlook it. Yep. So this one is a sci-fi survival horror game, and it, it, there's a little bit, a couple jump moments, to be honest. It's pretty... It's pretty true. I I jumped the first time you encounter an enemy. So, all right, let's uh, let's do this. What's up, Agent Silver? And I'm glad it's still this game received more than 100 plays, and it's only going to get more now uh, being featured. So we're going to hopefully get a sequel. So that's pretty awesome. So this is by Matthew 119. Can't believe you're putting me on camera for a scary game, dude. <laughs> Don't, when we cool. did the ha Halloween stream and we were playing all the scary games, there was like like I had one like total jump. Like I straight up was like. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, yeah, it was like a, uh, I think it was like a slender, you know, kind of style thing. Yeah. And then the, like this guy grabs you and it's just like in your face and the camera's shaking. Oh, oh yeah. Was, was that the PT game? Uh, no. Well, oh, okay. that we had, we did refeature that um, <laughs> during this time, but I like the, the intro. It was really sweet. It's got this whole menu here. Um, so you can see the crit. That's all, you know, crit is the very first thing you got to mm -hmm. do. You got the beta testers, Matthew and Zach, and my scavenger tutorials. It's so very cool. Um, you got player, some player options here, so, oh, I forgot there is two. I don't have another controller for you right now, but you can actually do this uh, co-op, but I, I, I haven't tried that yet. Um, I can toggle uh, my gender. gender. Uh, let's do female. That should be fun. 
Um, spectator, so you can yeah. play maybe as a spectator mode, just to... Yeah, I think you can, like, kind of look around and stuff and, like, go through it, um, and you're not, you can't be damaged, apparently. So, kind of interesting. I guess best for those who already have beaten the game, but just want to look at stuff. It's really cool that they have all those options. Right, wow. yeah. And then let's look, take a look at controls here. Um, my basic, I got shoot, flashlight, jump, melee, interlag, reload. Okay, got it. Got a general idea of what I need to do. And I gotta remember the jetpack. Is rise lower? Yeah, because you jetpack uh, right towards the beginning. Okay. Let's do this. So there's an intro. It's a. Uh, just kind of gives you some backstory on the text. We're not going to look at that. We're just going to jump right into it. All right. So here I am. So I'm in the space station. Here's my P player 2 who is not getting oh, controlled by anybody. Yep, yeah, just chilling. Uh, let's see what this monitor does. Nothing. Just turn off the screen. I think this one, yeah, this shows me the toggle switch between different controls. Okay, cool. Da -da -da -da. So your oxygen does fill back up if you're not moving? So... I have to, I think just in this room, um, um, but like these are what I gotta find eventually later. I gotta find these to refill, so. And the jump has like gravity, which is sweet. Um, so here's like our little command spot. Go up there, here's the door. Let's get to it. Use the flashlight, man. Uh. Okay, so I gotta, Press the that, so now I'm flying, and oh. I have to head toward. The, I have to board the ESS Spark, and I gotta go find the ship. There it is okay. So there's this little green beacon. That's where I gotta go. Oh wow! So I gotta go. So we we landed over here. Uh, that's like our shuttle, but then we we gotta go try to find this big vessel and board it. I can go faster here too. But it, I think it uses up more oxygen. It does. Do you have a momentum? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, actually, right there. I was still moving. And there we go. Oh, you have light power. See, so your your flashlight will run out of the eventually. Or what was that? Yep. Oh, there's a lock. Never mind. Okay. And let's refill my oxygen here. Okay, so this is now, I have to re repair this ship. So let's let's take a look around here. So there's some emergency lights. Insufficient power to area, divert power to diagnostics. Okay. Could at least give me some emergency power in this room to put a light on. You have an objective. I do have an objective. Turn off the alarm. Uh, that button. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. Get level one security clearance. Okay, two diagnostic engineering. I don't want to do that. And let me remember, I can, so right now I'm still flying. And I want to uh, drop down, so I gotta remember how to do that. Is it bumper? No, not that one. So I can also look this way. I can toggle between first or second. Um, let me look here, no, not that one. They, they, I know you can do it, I can drop down. Is it uh, pushing in one of the thumbsticks? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, I should have read all the directions. Oh, nice. That's oh, maybe I have to see if I can go. Oh, there we oh. go. I have to do, I have to be back on the ground in order gotcha. to, yeah. No, to do sense. it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's probably an in safe zone or whatever. So now I can just walk around. So that's cool. Let's go back to first person. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get ready for this. Door hacked. Hack security cam. Sure. Uh oh. One sec. <laughs> That's uh, our unfriendly visitors on this space station. Just chilling, staring at the camera. Great. Okay, so let's see if I can. Oh, okay. Can't go that way, so let's go, go this way. Oh, okay. I can grant myself security. Nice. I was gonna say that's not great security if you can give it to yourself. Well, no, maybe maybe there's uh, <laughs> emergency override. emergency overrides in a case of a flare. Yeah. Ooh, turn on him. Bot A. Sure. Security level two can be found in the hangar bay, but it's being blocked by a heavy mass of metal. Okay. Oh, that's good enough. Okay. Red 
so I can't I can't get in there yet. So I gotta come back over here. So I have security clearance now. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get close to our, our first encounter. Pretty sure it's right there. <laughs> I didn't even see anything, so that's. He's yeah, he's chasing me. <laughs> okay. And I gotta get this gun. And oh. oh. Okay. Is the door gonna open? Probably not. Okay, I think I made it. Ooh, that's right here. And there we go. I gotta reload. So my reload counter there is on the left. Um, okay. So I think can I go that way now? Open this up. Is there anything in here? No. Okay, so I already toggled that. So I think that's just it. I don't think I can go that way anymore. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So I'm assuming I gotta go this way past this dig. So as soon as I stop using it, it recharges my yeah. power, but I can't hold it forever. Life support failure repair just seems OT mean pump. to have a, a bar for life power that's so short. <laughs> I gotta crank, when it, when it goes off, I have to start cranking the, the power. You, so you got a red key card, right? I think I did, so I can go back. Power back. Oh, 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 you know what I need to do? This is, I, when I played through, through this, I died by an oxygen loss because I was oh, forgetting yeah. to check that. So fill that up before I go deeper. Because it's they're pretty much only at the airlock, and I got in trouble because I got too deep in here, and then I was like mad rushing back. Uh, okay, so floor three, med bay, mess hall, stasis, hangar bay, eventually I need to get security too. Okay. So we, we don't have sound here, but is there a breathing effect as, as you start running out of Oh, I think there is, yeah. We um we yeah, we can't hear, uh, unfortunately. But so that's the stairwell. Let's see. Can I go over here? I don't think I got clearance for this yet. Alright, let's go this way. Oh yeah, I remember this. And I think if I drop down here, yep. Oh, we've got to check behind staircases, everybody. Got a oh, new gun. Got upgrade it. Target Called it. Fire. I know. Just standing there. He's Come a on. villain. I can tell. He's not friendly. So this is one part I really want to get to because it's really, really cool. Um, okay, yeah. So here's here's ship diagnostics. Okay. Right. So insufficient power to run. So I gotta go fix the backup generators now. Uh, I could actually use the med kit. Yes, thank you very much. Oh yeah, yeah. There's these data logs around. So this mm -hmm. is like the captain's log, and I can like kind of hear about what happened. Oh, um, yeah. I'm not gonna read through all this. You guys can pause it if you're interested. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> it's really cool. Though. You didn't yeah, get that I love the on. the lore kind of stuff. It always makes you know, makes it impactful when there's like a story being told, right? It allows you to kind of, you know, have that um, imagination to it. So I think reactors in here. Yeah, these are reactors. Okay, oh, this wow, is really that's cool. really cool. Yeah, like these it. are sweet. So there's two, and they get turned on different ways. Oh, hello. I'm going to miss every shot. Nice. So one thing, like an improvement I can see, like on this creation, is it looks like these guys are purely based on your distance to them. And maybe if like they get attacked, then they'll start. They'll get aggro. Like that yeah. would be an improvement I could see. So this one is really easy to turn on. You just go through here and get these guys spinning. The other one though is a little bit in school. As they turn on, it gets faster. Yeah. So those should be all online now. That's power generator two. Okay, is that 100% power? Okay, cool. So now that one's going. Now this one is a little bit more complicated. 
because I can't walk up and just do that. So, I mean, it took me a second to figure this out, but I have to go over here, and there's these very specific in instructions on how to cold start the generator. That's totally off. So I have to set the repulsion angle to 45, and then set the initial polarity to a 12.5, and then prime the auto start, and then when it's go when it's like ready to go, I can key the start sequence. So there's all of these different control panels. So here's my, um, I think it's my auto start once I get these primed. So this is my angle, which I need to do first. So I need to go over here, and it was 45. I need to set it. Go over here. I love the gravity factor jump, where it's like yeah. slower. Makes you really feel like you're, okay, there's the auto start, I gotta prime. Uh, this was only 12.5 set, and I can prime the, the generator. I know this is a spoilers. This took, took me like 10 minutes to figure out what I was doing. I was like, how do I start this thing? And okay, so now I can initiate the auto, auto start. start. Generator active. And then these will start powering on as it goes around. So it's getting up to full power here. Let me make sure this gets to 100. I really like the design of these. The generators are sweet, these. right? Yeah, it. And then like with the the spinning around in the chat, like chassis and they're like slunk in, it's really, really done well. And we're gonna get to 100. We did. All right, cool. All right, I can go run a full diagnostic scan now. So with me playing around here trying to get these to work is when I. Uh, oh no, I can't believe there's an oxygen here. I didn't realize. So after I was playing around in here, I only had like 100 oxygen left or something, and I was like, no, and I had a sprint, and I didn't realize there's one in here. So my bad. <laughs> All right, I have. I don't know what happened. I run this diagnostic, so let's, let's do this. Oh, we don't have time to, oh, not too bad. Okay, let's do it. Scan complete, D display overview on main screen, sure. Is that, overview, oh, display it on main screen, over here, I'm sure. I don't need any help. What I find interesting is that these screens, it looks as if this is a spaceship that should have held a lot of people. I'm curious what happened to all the people that should have been here yeah. manning these stations. Exactly. Um, all right, so I gotta go to hydroponics now. So that's the generator room. I'm not quite sure what's in here. Just ammo. Okay. And we're getting close. I'm curious. I'm now I'm playing this. It's hard to stop. It is hard to stop. And you get invested, right? Like you're like, oh man. Gotta finish that. I've had, man, some of like, you know, have you ever played a Nano Puff creation? Like his Collecticon ones? I don't think They're so. They're like Save the Animals and like uh, the Giza Pyramid and other ones, and they just have tons of collectibles. Gotta get um, them all. You gotta get them all. And like, oh man, I, and it's like one of those things too where you're like, I have four out of five. Where's the last one? I'm not gonna <laughs> stop till I get the last one. I think I played Save the Animals for like two hours. It's so nice. bad. It was so much fun too. He has like all these like little events and stuff that happen. Okay, so now this powers on, so the elevator works now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, okay, so room, drop down. No, I think this must be floor two then. All right, all right. I'm not gonna spoil any more of this game as much as I really want to, but. As you can see, it goes on, and it's a huge, like this huge ship, and it's like this full story, and it's really neat. Oh, let me shoot this guy real quick. All right. I just want this to be Thank you. Nope, apparently it was only allowed him. Okay. Well, I'm gonna call it there before I explore every single thing that's in this game <laughs> for another 30 minutes. So very cool creation by Matthew119. I'm looking forward to the sequel. Uh, definitely check it out. And more from, what is it, 119 Productions is what they were oh. calling themselves. So that's pretty cool. Sweet. All right, so the next one you're playing. All right, all right. Take the controller. This. What am I playing? All right, so you have a couple choices. You can play a recreation of Doom's first level. You can play a UFO twin stick shooter, or yeah, those are your two. 
Pick the new dress. Let me try the twin stick shooter. Not that one. Nope, we played that one last week. It's actually the UFO game. Oh, the UFO no? Yeah, UFO no. There it is. Waves yep. one through three. Yep. Let's try that guy. Ancient Clown uh, did really good on that. <laughs> By like a long shot compared to everybody else. Wow, yeah. Whew, whew, whew. Well, let's, let's take him out. Not yeah, so this is featured last week, but I don't think I I did not play this on stream last week. I hope I do not remember playing it on stream. So I did wave one uh, to start. Right. Seems simple enough. Start it up. Oh. What am I shooting? They oh, haven't wow. they haven't started coming in yet. So you have two things you're looking for. You have the green orbs and the flying fish, which are called flish. Makes sense. So they're slowly coming in, and you have to start tracking them down. Is there and they're going to start coming in. Right? No, but the the play space isn't that huge. It, that's okay. as soon as like these big purple, this big purple area is not playable. Really. So it's like toward okay. where all this is like cut in. Oh, so here here they start coming. Flish. Yep, flish. Oh, I'm not saying how many are actually in the play space. Yep, okay. as they're spawning into yeah. I thought they, would, they they might have just done a small amount of oh. Nope, that's there's a quite a bit. And then, uh, so when you make, uh, when you defeat these guys, there's purple orbs drop, yeah. and they can kind of fly into you, you get closer to the magnet. Those are your, like, kind of your score multiplayer, so you want to collect those as much as possible. But they go away after a certain period of time, so you have to try to get around and, like, collect your orbs. Kind of. gotcha. Oh, yeah, you took a hit. And then, so this one, we can't hear it, but there's crazy good audio, like, weird audio stuff going on. So, like, he like switches it up and depending on like how you're doing, like the song changes and yeah. you take damage and all that. So it's That's very really neat. Cool, right? mm -hmm. That was my and this like my favorite part is like how great that animation looks when you're like collecting them. I don't know why that they I think they look really good when they they just spawn then yeah. Yeah, actually, it's really cool that he that he spawned them in lower down and had them come up. It gives you a chance to get away. Yeah, yeah, that was that was fun. Ooh, yep, yeah, and there's some big nice fish. And then there are uh, power ups kind of scattered. So the bomb too. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I got double fire. Mm -hmm. You gotta collect all those. And, okay, now you're power up. But there's different oh, ones, so like, good. around, yeah. There you go. Smart bomb, what does that mean? I think you got another bomb. Oh, then okay. there's a power up right there, floating. There you go, we got another one. Those are the ones that you just blew up, like, all the enemies on the map. Or, you know, in your visual vicinity. Yeah, I found like power ups kind of get clustered around those like primitives. Oh, okay, like maybe they suck them. Yeah, or uh, they, uh, yeah, it's either they kind of suck them or generate them. So it's easier to your advantage to collect them. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So you only got the 14 left in each. I think you cleared the way for it. So you just have to kind of go around and track them down now. I think once the, the fish are done, they're done. And it's pretty cool. There's different enemies like uh, that get kind of moved differently from the to it. So it introduces kind of new enemies. Like, I mean, he must just have, like, invisible props around it or something. Yeah. 
Oh, you almost got all the way down. You just got. Where are these rocks coming from? There you Blowing go. Out of nowhere. Exactly. So, took you 4.26 minutes. Oh, or, is it a time bonus? There is a time, yeah. So, you oh. get a multiplayer. So, you got no time bonus on that. Uh, bombs remaining, you got score for that. So, you got half a million score. It's a bomb bonus is zero. We got a request for Doom. Yep, we're gonna play that one for sure. We'll, we'll do that one next. That one's pretty sweet. They did they did a good job on the new one. Yes, it is the UFOs. Oh yeah, like a quick dodge kind of thing, like get quickly out of the way. Yeah. And you like have, maybe have to recharge them or whatever. Yeah, usually it's just a timed thing. So it gets harder and harder like that, but we don't need to play it at this point in time. So, uh, and the color inverted, inverted too, which is pretty sweet. So the color changed up on this stage. Totally gonna pick up that high score though. I was on it for the 46 million. I don't even know how you would do that. So I'll steal your controller, like sir. All right, request for the Doom one. So let's look at the Doom one. Uh, let's find it here. It is not this one. It's gonna always be on the one page I'm not on. Yep. So they're still working on it. Um, this one is uh, it's pretty much all of level one, and then he's doing working on two, and then he I think he has a plan for three and four too. But Doom plus Spark. New features and new enemies. I like the the logo is oh, yeah, really it's awesome. Really good. Yeah, they did a great job with that. And then, like in graffiti underneath, there's like the plus spark. <laughs> Here oh, it wow. is. There it is. Nice. All 3D and stuff. Mm -hmm. Plus spark. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to go knee deep in hell and come. Oh, okay. Got it. And then there's. So, this is like one and two. And then there'll be three and four and probably a different uh, level that it'll level link to. So, let's choose the play. There's this intro. Oh, viewer, viewer discretion advised on this creation, I should add. That's kind of that warning came a little too late. <laughs> Sorry. Well, check out that gun, though. So this is bringing back memories. So I've never, I'm going to show my age when I say I've, I never played the first Doom. But you said you played it. Yeah, I did play it. So does the environment look kind of familiar? I don't know what that intro is even like or anything. If there's something like floating skull or not, or so I, I played Doom a long time ago. <laughs> a really long time ago. <laughs> well, maybe some of our chat can keep us honest and let us know if they if they think it's similar or not. I, I think this is the the general start story though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your team goes ahead first. Yeah. And you're trying to track them down, find out if they're alive or not. Spoilers, they're dead. <laughs> Pretty sure they're dead. And we just watched that guy like kill a bunch of people. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. That was I, sweet. That, that was nice. All right, I'm going to hit A. I think it's over. The intro. Well, maybe not. It looks like it's kind of going back to my main character. All right. I don't want to keep repeating. All right, here we go. So I got my little Doom thing on here on the bottom. I don't have like any like guns or anything. Oh, here I gotta punch this guy. It's funny too. His uh, the image changes when he's punching. Yeah, so that's that's, that's very much a Doom, Doom thing. thing. Yeah, uh, or he switches like that. I have my like fake arm that's a prop. <laughs> but it's pretty pretty sweet that's actually. Really well done. Actually, yeah, the, like it. The arm. Mm -hmm. Because I, I don't think I've seen many people pull that off successfully in the first person. Where smart. you have this the sprint, yeah. Yeah. It looks really so here's good. a gun. The gun's cool too, so I'll pick that up. So there's the gun. Then I have like the hold the sprint or whatever, some ammo. So it's like the very much you just have to run over stuff to collect it. Yeah. So in, in Doom, if I remember correctly, the first one you couldn't even really look up and down. You couldn't aim up and down. Ah. It just if you if you centered your Vertically centered your gun, it would just gotcha. shoot up or down there, for you. Okay, there there is only this plane basically. Yeah, and it would go up and down or whatever. Makes sense. Well, this one I gotta aim. 
It's an so upgrade. yeah, it's an upgrade. I uh, got that guy. Um, let's go check out what's over here. What does it say? Oh, BFG prototype <laughs> already. So I'm assuming that's a type of gun. The BFG. Yep. But I didn't remember there. This was back here. So there's a there's a weapon. Yeah. It's like, oh wow, that's. They put a lot of detail in this, huh? Yes, they did. Okay, let's go over here. Yep. Just gonna let the we can skip through the intro. So it's actually a really quick restart. Because I can just like, appreciate it, especially if it's yeah. die. All right, he's done. I know. Yeah, that was I died a lot faster than I was hoping. <laughs> I was like I haven't even shown off any of the creation yet. So let's take this guy out again. I'm just I just really like those hands. Yeah, even the, the hands are done really like, nice. Marks and stuff in them because I suspect they're, they're, they're eggs. Eggs, yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna stick to the gun. I'm gonna pick this up, but I'm gonna go back and keep my gun. I think the chainsaw was not a particularly good weapon of choice for that situation. I'm gonna just try to snipe this fool. Do it. Come on. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't know it was exploding. Anyway, yeah. Well, apparently I'm not gonna get very far in it, but let's uh, let's do a little cheat and like just take a look at it in edit mode so we can kind of get a good appreciation of like the environment. These are cool. This is nice. So you like built it out of. I don't even know what this is. Oh, there you go. Thin primitive. Yeah, thin primitive. <laughs> so. I guess this styling is in the original logo, maybe, where it has like the different off color. I didn't know if it was a solid. Yeah, I can't remember the off color. The, the shape is definitely right, though. Yeah, the shape's right. <laughs> it has like a blood trickle off this part. <laughs> and let's go take a look at, I think this is the, yeah. If you're really interested to just ask, how long did it take him to make all of this? It just seems. I know, right? Very large and quite detailed. And can it go through here? And then there's this whole other area. You gotta swim through this thing. Yeah, this is the that pool. I was trying to get back here. Oh yeah, I didn't get to show off because there's the Gatling gun. Yeah. Which is awesome. And some armor power up. So yeah, this is sweet. There's a lot going on. <laughs> there's like all these oh, references yeah. and trigger zones like everywhere. Oh yeah, this is like pool or whatever. That was that room ringing any bells to you? You remember that environment? Uh, actually, yeah. If Where? This way? Uh, look the other direction in that big room. Room? I, I I seem to remember a room where when you run in, there's a there's an enemy on top of a, a ledge. Oh. So one of those. Maybe uh, this thing. Yeah, I mainly remember that because I didn't see the enemy the first like seven times I went in and it kept killing me. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what the heck was going on. What's going on? That makes sense. Oh, there's like this whole other side area too. Yeah, this is sweet. Oh, this is like the other, so neat tip for everybody. The wooden sheep is your best uh, blood pool basically. <laughs> so that's like all the time. And then people like put bones and stuff. But yeah, that's the wooden sheep. <laughs> you can see the outline. <laughs> yeah. But it's because it's like flat or whatever. You put it down and it's just a perfect like little spot. So that's what you're looking at in your creation. That is a good thing to go. That's a good prop to use for that kind of stuff. All right, and I think we got, let's see, we did that one, that one, that one, that one. Wow, we were, we have really one more and it was just really the, the hub. So we're gonna have some time, if we don't wanna call this one too short, uh, to play some suggestions. So let us know if you guys have anything you want us to play. If not, we'll just kind of look at the new and rising feed or whatever to play something else. So got through those pretty quick. The one thing I wanted to show off real quick is Serverletta put out a new uh, zombie FPS like hub. And hubs I think are always really neat. Oh, 
for sure. Especially when it's like, you know, you have enough games out there where you kind of want to put like a kind of a showcase of them. And I just thought this one was looked clean. It was nicely done. Um, he like uses screenshots to highlight different parts from, from the level. So, you know, Servaletta, right? He did. Yeah. yeah I've seen yeah. some of his stuff. Yeah. Really cool. He has an about me. You can go to volume one. So he has like this little title area where you can just, you know, it's very reminiscent of a bunch of the games that he makes. So I can switch to his collection here. Oh, wow. So he has like pictures from them, right? And like different screenshots that he's using like the assembly capture to do. Um, he might even be, uh, for all I know, he's using uh, image importing too through uh, SparkShare. Uh, and are to, all these just level links to the actual levels? Uh, yeah, so now if I would uh, choose to launch this, it would level link over to Planet of the Dead 2. Um, so he has a little description, and I can like flip through here. So he had Conquer vs. Zombie <laughs> Teddies. Um, I feel like that like first screenshot he like went and took for this specifically, right? Like him on top of a it's bunch of It's a pretty awesome yeah. screenshot. Actually, See, that that screenshot with the uh, with the walker, um, the, the one the one to the left. Oh yeah. this, that is the one cool looking mech. Yeah. Have I you like you said you play that one yet? What is wrong with you if you haven't played Planet of the I Dead too? I feel as if I have. That one is awesome. So like <laughs> you get to a point where you get into a mech and it has this whole like epic you know cinematic of like showcasing how cool yeah. your mech is and then you like, get into it and you have to just mow down through like this horde of like fifty zombies. Nice. That you like you don't care because you're in a mech. You just like step on them. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's a great game. Uh, so you got that one. You got first person shooter starter kit. This is like very. Uh, um, I played through this one actually. It's it's pretty good. It's like for a darker kind of first person shooter uh, kit for sure. Like he always has like kind of blood and gore and kind of stuff like that. So uh, that one you got plenty of the dead two teaser which he made for the creation jam. So he's able to make this whole teaser with only forty props, which is oh, wow. pretty crazy. Yeah, and all it's like this just you like get you get up because you're unconscious and then you like walk down this hall and you like see the bodies of the zombies and they like start getting up and coming toward you and it kind of ends and it's. You know, there's like, props. yeah, it's done That's really crazy. well. Uh, go to the next one. Love still the screenshots are really cool on this. And then uh, you played Zombies Without Taz, right? No, oh, you got to play that. It's just the most it's a hilarious game. Yeah. Yep. So Probably stars Adolf Hitler, Hitler, William Shakespeare, God, and the final Destroyer Bug. Uh, you can just see that inappropriate screenshot at the top right. <laughs> And I don't know if I played this one yet by him. Uh oh, Night typo. Beast. Oh, yeah, you're right. But the Night Beast Unleashed, third person brawler. I think it's one of his uh, one of his first games. Yeah, Zombie FPS. Alpha. I like when he like didn't have the other screenshots. It's like not available. Okay, that bow looks awesome. It does. <laughs> That's really. It's cool like kind of. I'm playing Fallout Four right now. Yeah. Too. Um, and like you know how they have the whole upgrade to your guns and you can like switch mm -hmm. out and mod them and stuff and that's like what it reminds me of like throw a scope on your crossbow throw like an ex you know extended barrel or whatever oh like, man now I want to make that in spark it's yeah. killing me no <laughs> that'd be sweet that'd be a cool starter kit to you like modular weapons modular weapons and we have like for the sci-fi like, we already have like the barrel and all that kind of right. came with the um, battle stations pack uh pan Friction Deluxe. I don't know about that RPG. one. If I play that one either, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to like now go take a look at some of his older stuff. Code Blood Go. Oh yeah, I remember this. Um, I remember the original. I don't remember when he remixed it, but yeah, I do. That's cool. I remember having that featured actually the Code Blood Go, the original one. So, but yeah, so that's you know what a really really cool I think hub looks like where you can like introduce people to your new stuff. Um, yeah. And also, like, right, like, I think it's fun to feature those because it, you know, it's almost like getting, like, five worlds featured instead of just one because people can kind of go now and check out all your different stuff. So, yeah, make more of those hubs. I'm always looking forward to them. And we still haven't got a suggestion from chat. You guys are slacking today. Um, so I'm going to just go over over here and find something because we got, we got time probably for one more creation, I think. All right, you're the one who's going to pick. So I'm scrolling. My little pony ponyville maybe that sounds cool this is always like this is like playing like roulette kind of <laughs> you're just like dj mm -hmm. we're not gonna play any uh, developer game jam creations all right that one looks cool for sure yeah we save all of those for after judging and yeah, i want to see everybody in their final form fair. yeah I saw, I saw one that looked vaguely interesting it was a uh, like 2d called the king's adventure or something Let's see. Is this one you're looking at? The King's Quest? The King's Quest, there you go. Sure. 
Me menu and cutscene brain, good for starters and simple to adjust. Oh, huh, interesting. Huh, worth checking out. Yeah, let's see what let's see what it, what it looks like. They put like some effort into their screenshot, which is usually like <laughs> the big the biggest sign. Yeah. Controls before I go in. Skip cutscene. Continue. Okay. Controls are easy. Oh, so it's like a showcase level for the three brains. So he has like dialogue. So I think A's continue. Oh yeah. Sorry. I, I'm just looking at this this guy. Model. Oh yeah. He's he, pretty neat, unique looking. He's the evil guy with a mustache, I think. Mm-hmm. But he actually looks like a pretty good old dude. He did a good job. This brain is a simple menu. Not very fancy, but it's a start. <laughs> it's just like a That's key fair. way of doing this dark kid. This is the cutscene maker brain. Simple and easy. Alright. This is the quest UI brain. For now, it's just. This guy like teleports. I love it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I think you have to learn a lot more. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, cool. So we're gonna go down. This. Oh, okay. So we got a little quest menu up top there. Yeah, there's like a little playable. But you can like. So he like Whoa. uses these things. Okay, cuts so, in camera, which I just... Wait, but I can't read it. Update. I will use these brains, so stay tuned. And it's kind of taking control of my character away from me, so that it can show me the little cutscene. Alright. Quest, look around. Look for the exit for now. You didn't even look what was in the present. Something came out of that. It was a, a rock. rock. I'm a, Troll. I, I remain unimpressed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so they have the little... <laughs> Camera, is that a default assembly? I think it might be one of our default. Maybe not, though. Could be. But it seems, to be, it seems to be just showing off how to do cutscenes so that probably if you go dig in here, it'll, uh, it'll show you how to do cutscenes mm -hmm. with each different um, thing that you're interacting with. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was the exit. So oh, is that what, mm -hmm. what just happened? Yeah. Okay. That's a, good, I, that's a really cool way of doing the starter kit, though. I'm going to put that in the starter kit feed. Uh, I think that's pretty neat how there's some kind of playable aspect to it. But then yeah. I'm sure when you remix it, like it's pretty clear there's the wood, the brains, where yeah, they're That's kind of just off. a showcase for the starter kit. So you mm -hmm. can but see. then it uses it, too, which is yeah. that, yay. So, nice. like, that combination is pretty sweet. So, well, you know, I think we'll, I think we'll end it there. Um, you know, before I, you know, we'll keep this one a little bit shorter uh, just by five minutes or anything so it's not not too terrible or anything like that but uh, steal that from you there you go uh just get back to the main menu here so that about does it so thanks so much for joining us that was a lot hey, of fun for i had me. a good time yeah um that was pretty sweet just playing some stuff um and you know i'm trying to, i'm gonna be trying to get guests every week uh different people um when i can steal them away from things that they're doing so <laughs> that'll be pretty awesome um Anyway, and so thanks for coming, and uh, well, uh, this will be uploaded up to YouTube later. So if you're watching this on YouTube, then that is currently already happened. <laughs> I'm from the future and telling you guys about that. So um, but otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Project Spark is where players create and creators play. What better way to be inspired than to see what's possible? This will surely spark your imagination. Now, how do we begin?